Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video we have another build of Windows 10 to look at. This is uh, build 14332 and uh, this is available for PC and mobile so notice how they keep it in sync at the moment which, which is really good to see. So this one doesn't have as many updates as the previous release did. The previous one had loads of changes including Windows Ink which I showed off in the previous video here on my Surface so that's where you can tap a button on your pen and you've got sticky notes, sketch pad, screen sketch um, where you can do interesting things with Windows, you know, you can ink onto things and use it for all sorts of projects but that it was in the previous build and you can check our video of that this video is more about bug fixing, perhaps as Microsoft moved to get these new features polished now ready for um, release to uh, the general public so a couple of things have changed in this build. There's um, so improved bash and command prompt improvements. So what they say that they improved the DPI settings. Let's have a look um, here on the command prompt. So we, there's improved performance and scaling on high DPI displays like this Surface Pro 3. Um, I don't know whether you can particularly see anything, it probably does look it does look a bit quicker. In the previous release, it kind of was almost drawing the text. And this, um, as you, you drawing as you, you could see it going through, this one doesn't seem to be doing that. Um, if you use Bash, the um, internet connection of the Bash on Ubuntu prompt has been fixed, which means that uh, uh, AP t dash get um, commands no longer fail. So apt get, which you use to um, get packages using Ubuntu and uh, Linux, that's been fixed on here from the bash command line. So um, that's good to see. So something else which is new is you can now, uh, Cortana can search through Office 365. So if I do a search, it knows I can do a search through Office 365 and I can add a connected account through Office 365 and you do that through the connected accounts there and you can add Office 365 here as an option and then it'll search that which I think is, is pretty nice. Now the main changes apart from that appear to be improved battery life for connected standby on devices like this Surface Pro 3 and uh, if you if you do power config or power CFG uh, space forward slash A, you can see whether you you support S0, the low power mode, which is basically connected standby means it can still receive like notifications while it's in this low power state. Surface does um, support that, and they've improved the battery life on that one. So I, I've only had this build on for a couple of hours, so I'm not sure how much battery it is actually going to save, but uh, we'll find out. Like I say we're running at what. 96, 94% and this has been off power charge for let's say an hour and a half, something like that it says 3 hour 8 minutes, oh there you go it's jumped up to 7 hours that is more realistic, I think given the usage, I think 3 hours is a bit low then so perhaps somewhere in between so I think there is an improvement and it's not got a battery drain while it's in your bag um, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. So there's a lot of fix in this one, in, uh, in this build as well from the last one, including the one that caused the PC to blue, blue screen when entering connected standby, which is a bit of a pain. It wasn't too bad on here, but on my other devices it was a real pain. It's also fi uh, fixed the issue where large downloads don't work correctly, they get stuck at 99%. There's a whole list of, uh, of fixes um, that are in, in this uh, build, so I would uh, suggest you check the post on the digitallifestyle.com which has all the issues. The known issues include some uh, problems with Groove Music. So, um, Microsoft will say if you've previously played DRM protected content from Groove Move from Groove Music, movies and TVs and Amazon, Netflix, you may have an issue where you not be able to play back that and they're working for a fix on that. Um, I'm not sure that, that is. I've not seen any issues with that so far. Uh, well, we can check the Netflix app. So there's me trying to play Netflix and something went wrong. So they're, they're working on a fix for that. So that's all the changes. If you want to see all the new features like inking and all the new start menu, which is on here, and lock screen controls, have a look at our previous build uh, that shows, a previous build video that shows all that off. Thanks for watching this one and uh, look out for the mobile video as well soon.